The purpose of this video is to introduce you to the RAPS satellite antenna rotator and its operation. During the video I will illustrate the rotator circuit board layout, control operations, and setting up the rotator for a satellite pass. The latter part of the video will include an 8 minute collection of a FunCube pass and will conclude with some screenshots of representative telemetry you can capture from the FunCube. The acronym RAPS stands for Wobbler Radfix Antenna Pointing System. Wobbler is my name for the Attitude Determination Experiment and Radfix stands for the Radiation Effects Experiment that will be the education payloads of future FOX satellites. The RAPS is a portable battery operated satellite antenna rotator system for use with lightweight and small antennas in the Aero and Elk class. The RAPS is not intended for 24-7 outdoors unattended operations with large satellite antennas. This is the printed circuit board of the RAPS project. There are some surface mounted components in this project, but these components are relatively large by surface mount standards and are fairly easy to solder manually. The board is designed to replace the cover of a 4x4 four four inch utility box which serves as the housing and support structure for the rotator motors. The RAPS is designed to be used with SATPC32 tracking software or any tracking program that outputs commands using the EasyCom protocol. I discovered during the prototype development that having the USB to RS-232 converter integrated circuit in close proximity to the antenna cause unacceptable interfering noise, particularly when trying to receive packet or high-speed data. The alternative of using an XB RF data link module to break the USB umbilical cord connection proved to be a good solution to the noise issue. Another XB module connected to the computer COM port provides the connection between the satellite tracking software and the RAPS. The RAPS ideally is powered by a 12 volt gel cell battery. It however will operate well with a pair of 9 volt batteries hooked in series for truly lightweight portability. The trade-off is limited battery life. There is a jack at the top of the circuit board for powering an antenna mounted preamp. When the power switch is turned on, the RAPS circuitry is energized and a power LED is illuminated. The data LED will illuminate when a positioning command is received from the tracking software and while the command is being executed. The RAPS PIC will receive the commands, determine the current antenna location, calculate if a movement is required and in which direction, and command the motors to move to the desired location. The PIC produces pulse width modulation signals that power the motors through the H bridge of field effects transistors. There are momentary toggle switches that can be used to manually position the antenna. These switches will only operate one motor at a time, so azimuth and elevation movements need to be done in turn. The RAPS is set up for a maximum of 90 degrees elevation. Therefore, antenna flipping when the satellite passes through the turn point or azimuth stop point is a problem. Unlike a rotor that is mounted in a fixed permanent location, this e limitation is easily mitigated with a little advanced planning. Before a specific pass, the operator determines if the satellite will pass either through the north or through the south of the station location. If the satellite will pass through the north, the RAPS is set up to have the azimuth stop be in the south by positioning the stop switch and vice versa. The SATPC32 rotor setup is then adjusted, the rotor manually commanded to some azimuth, and you simply pick up the rotator, rotate it to point in that direction, and you are ready to go. This will be illustrated in a few minutes. The final control is the calibrate button. You will only use this button if the rotator position gearing gets out of whack for some reason. Do not inadvertently press the calibrate button 
or you will have to recalibrate your wraps as per the printed instructions. It is not a difficult task, but it could result in missing a pass.